So the final addition to the testing phase of Android 11 has dropped with Beta 3. It's a very, very minimal update as you'd expect, but even so, we've gone hands on to show you the best new additions. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Thanks to some display flickering issues, the ability to force a 90Hz refresh rate everywhere was unceremoniously ripped from the Android 11 Beta 2 and Beta 2.5 updates. Android 11 Beta 3 has restored the option, but under a new name. Smooth display is what you'll need to search for within developer options to ensure that your experience is as slick no matter what app or portion of the OS that you're using. So long as you have the lockdown mode enabled, when launching into the power menu, you'll notice a few slight changes. For starters, the power button has now added a breadcrumbs menu icon. Tapping will give you a floating window with options to power off and restart your device. Simply disabling lockdown mode will get rid of this mini menu and restore the power off button to a central position with restart to the right. The media controls added to the quick settings section has had a few little tweaks and changes applied with Android 11 Beta 3. Firstly, when audio is playing, you'll get a neat divider between the end of the quick settings toggles and the media player pane. Another change now lets you swipe away any media that is not currently playing. To enable the hide player when the media section has ended option, you can swipe into the settings icon and toggle the option. This means you can fully expand the notification pane to access controls and quickly pick up just where you left off. After we spent time with them late last month, the Android 11 emoji are now widely available as part of Android 11 Beta 3. There are 117 new emoji to play with, including 55 new skin tones, plus a ton of refreshed designs and even the return of the popular Nougat era turtle. You can send them on, but it is worth noting that some devices might not receive them correctly. The Android 11 logo has now been revealed when you head to your settings pane, but now it includes a new Easter egg. Swiping the toggle to 11 will reveal a cat emoji toast notification. This lets you add some controls to the device control section where you can attract some cats, very much like you were able to with Android Nougat. Instead of using quick settings tiles though, the Android 11 Beta 3 Easter egg uses a ton of features added throughout the entire developer preview and beta phase, including bubbles, device controls, and more. So as the last in the trio, not including the 1.5 and 2.5 updates, don't go in expecting huge wholesale changes with this update. We're on countdown now though until the full OS release in early September 2020, but what is your favourite new feature in the admittedly shortlist in Android 11 Beta 3? And on top of that, have you installed the Android 11 Beta 3 update? Let us know down in the comment section below, but until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.